This week, we're making the Quizitron World Championship title belt. Yeah, this one might take some splaining. Follow along with me for a second. I write for a blog. That blog is part of a larger network. That network is run by an evil overlord. That overlord runs a science quiz show every year at Dragon Con. Last year, the contestants on that quiz show were a collection of writers, comedians, musicians, and a PhD astronomer. I serve drinks. Now, you might think that the professional scientist has something of an advantage over the creative types, but the scoring is done by Joseph Scrimshaw, who awards points based largely on whether or not the answers inspire him to make funny doodles. So, eh, the contest somewhat favors those skilled at making shit up rather than knowing anything. However, last year, Dr. Phil Plate was able to beat out two-time reigning champion, best-selling author Scott Sigler, by a doodle of a cat's anus. After being told there was no prize for victory, Dr. Plate was heard to exclaim, What, don't I get a belt or something? The answer to that is yes. Eventually. <laughs> it took us a little while to get around to it, but Brian George, fellow blogger at Mad Art Lab and brilliant artist, uh, helped come up with the design for the Quizitron logo and championship belt. I transferred Brian's digital designs to the brass sheet by first uh, laying down a layer of paint and then etching that away with my laser! Yes, I have to say it that way every time. But the pattern burned away, the rest of the paint worked as a resist against an etchant called ferric chloride, which works on brass and copper and smells and looks something like if you dissolved molasses in paint thinner. I used that etchant to dissolve away a background pattern. I wanted the cue to stand up off the surface a little bit. So I used a collection of power and hand tools to cut around a vinyl template that I'd made. After that, it was just a process of polishing and filing to get everything to look nice. The belt itself is cut out of 9 ounce vegetable tan leather. The edges then beveled and burnished, and the whole thing dyed black. All that's left after that is to rivet on the buckles and the decorative plate, and to give it a bit of a buff, I used uh, Renaissance wax to protect the brass plate and keep it from tarnishing too badly. And this is the finished product. Come get it, Phil. Subscribe above or leave comments down below for future projects.